Now, Jessica, organizers want to send a powerful message. On top of the general strike, they're inviting people to participate in a 1.8 mile silent march. That march is kicking off here at Judkins Park tomorrow, where thousands of people are expected to show up. This movement is to get justice for those who have unjustly lost their lives. The Seattle King County chapter of Black Lives Matter hoping Friday's silent march and general strike will send a loud message. We want this to be a moment to honor and uh, hold space and warn those who have lost their lives to police brutality and institutional racism in this country. Ebony Miranda with Black Lives Matter gave an update on the group's Facebook page. We're really emphasizing that this is a black led march, that black youth and black people are at the front of this march leading it. More than 5,000 people on the events page say they plan to show up at Judkins Park. The chapter has made it clear in the past that it didn't want to put people at risk during the COVID-19 pandemic, another reason why the march is silent. The group is encouraging anyone who's not planning to march get involved in the day of action. Organizers are asking that people stop working for the day and instead look into ways of creating lasting structural change. Already, a handful of businesses have decided to close their doors for the day in a show of solidarity. In a press conference today, Mayor Jenny Durkin said she was aware of tomorrow's Black Lives Matter march as well as other marches in the city. Meanwhile, organizers say for those who aren't able to make it to Seattle's march, they're encouraged to start their own march in their community. For now, we are live in Seattle tonight. Britt Moore, King 5 News.